Hello and welcome back to the Watford Way. It's James here and I just want to quickly thank you really for all your support this season. Uh, it's been a tough season on and off the pitch for Watford, but what hasn't changed is the support of you guys um, and Watford fans from around the world and fans who travel to the games week in, week out, home and away. So firstly, um, before we get into this match reaction, I just wanted to say thank you. Uh, I'll be putting out a season review video in the next few days talking about the whole season from Rob Edwards, Slavan Bilic and all the way to Chris Wilder um, and where it went wrong for Watford really. So that video will be out at some point this week. Um, and yeah, you know, just talking about the final game of the season, uh, how it panned out and, and how I felt really come the final whistle. Um, it was actually quite a relatively good performance from Watford. I mean, the first half, not so much. I think Stoke City had um, some glorious opportunities actually to go ahead in the game. But Watford um, really defended relatively well. Um, and, you know, in the second half, we scored the two goals through Keenan Davis and Imran Loser. A great finish from Imran Loser, by the way, as well. Um, but it was a sad day as well because Watford gave out the end of season awards. And, of course, the player of the season, the Graham Taylor player of the season, went to the one and only Brazilian King Joao Pedro. So he collected his player of the season award. Um, and actually, after the game, it seems like he flew in a helicopter um, straight to Brighton to be unveiled there just before their Premier League game as well. Um, and it was really sad to see Joao Pedro go, actually. I mean, he was signing stuff on the side of the pitch for a good 20 minutes, half an hour, actually. Um, same with Ismail Ismaila Star, Ken Semmer, Christian Cabasale at the end of the game. So fair play to the players. They did stick around. They did their lap of honour, if you will, just to say thank you for for our support really this season because it's been a tough one to watch. Probably has been my worst season um, ever supporting Watford in terms of the football we've seen on the pitch and what's happened off the pitch as well in terms of managerial uh, replacements. You know, the Gino Pozzo issue, Scott Duxbury, Ben Manga, all this stuff that's been going on um, outside of the football pitch has, has been quite interesting as well. So it's been a weird season. It's been uh, a pleasure to cover it here on the Watford way as well. Um, and yeah, I really just want to say thank you for, for your support this season. It's really appreciated. Um, and of course, we'll be covering everything to do with Watford over the summer as well, whether it's our new manager who should be incoming in the next few days. We'll talk about that in another video um, or whether it's our new kit, our new signings. And of course, when the fixtures get released, stuff like that, we'll be covering it all here on the Watford way. And make sure to follow us on our social media pages as well. We're not just here on YouTube. We have a presence on pretty much all social media platforms on Twitter, on Facebook and on Instagram as well. So if you haven't already, make sure to use the link in the description down below to follow us on them. Um, and apart from that, I don't really have anything else to say. I just hope you all have a fantastic summer. Uh, the weather in the UK is not reflecting summer at the moment, but hopefully it gets better soon. Um, and yeah, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.